Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Mama Set, and welcome back to City Skylines with our little town of Animalia. As you can see, we've only got really three districts so much. B Shopping, which is our little hexagon here. We've got Dalmatian Heights, which are our suitably extending circle districts. And we've got the Donkey Mines. We're going to get mining in here in a bit, but right now, unfortunately, we've not got a lot of space. So we're a little bit stuck to that. So what we're going to have to do is expand. Now, we've got quite a bit of residential demand already. So what we should really do is try and expand and grow on this and try and get as many residents in as possible that we increase the industrial demand. Now, we've got zoned some more industry up here in this area, but it's not growing just yet. So that's because we have no index to industrial demand. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag more people in and hopefully that'll bump our population up to the number we need because it's at 26,000 that we get our own ore specialization. So we're going to really start making use of the donkey mine. We're also going to start getting some more public transport things we look at. And a load of extra um, on-ramps and bus lane stuff starts kicking in. Uh, we do get some unique buildings, but uh, we'll have to wait and see before we get those. So, without further ado, let's leave the game paused for a bit. We've got 35,000. Let's start sticking in some more of our preferred road solutions, which in this case are circles. Now, I wonder how easily we can get... I don't think we're necessarily going to be able to get a full circle in here, but we should be able to at least get a half. So we're having a half spot. Oh, I wonder if we can actually get your location invalid. An invalid location. Let's have a look what this one does. So yeah, okay. Resume. If I grab road that one freeform tool and just Pop it in directly from above. Take that out to about there. And come around. We've got a slightly squished one. But it will be nice in there. So there's another residential district. So let's um, start time ticking by ever so gently so that we can actually get this thing filling in as and when it, it should do. Click, click, click. Thud, 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 thud. A nice mix of different building sizes in here. Lots of thudding noises. So, uh, these people should have power. That should fill in reasonably easily. Do they have water? Oh, not quite. So, let's uh, just extend these two pipelines back a little bit. And then put a little bit of a kink in here. So, I don't have to bother extending them even further. So, our water supply is fine. That's fine. Has our power. Power is a bit on the medium side, which we should probably look at getting in a new power plant. 8 megawatts of happy, happy goodness. So, there we go. So that's that. And they're growing. Okay, so let's carry on and start putting in a few more of our little circle bunkers. Let me switch back to the straight road type. So let's do a straight line from there. Let's, uh, what's that building again? That's a ah, elementary school. All right, so we don't want to get in the way of that too much. Um, I mean, no, we're probably going to have to keep going down from here, so we'll try to avoid making it too much. So we might end up with this kind of pattern extending on for quite a bit. Um, I am kind of tempted, however, to make things a little bit more interesting. You hear the dinging going on in the background. And just vary up the angles at which we're coming off here, so we're not always coming off at exactly the same location, always having exactly the same circle. So let me just um, extend that road out so we know we've got our markway. So our objective is to try and fill in pretty much up to about here or so with happy little circles. Uh, circle tool. Nope, that's not going to work. That's the, the wrong place for that. I think probably what I'd do is put the put the circle in first, and then bring in the, and bring in the other road later. Yeah, let's have an arc road there. Put it in as we're going in. Put it 
special. Uh, give it paint. I need a larger one. Ooh, lots of people picking noises as people become increasingly happy about things. Um, let's just quickly pause and have a look at our demands for fire coverage. Okay, so while the fire light station is not too bad, perhaps we've got a group on that our, our industry over here is not very happy, and these guys all the way here aren't that happy. And let's have a look at crime. I think crime is fine. So, it might be worth our while looking at seeing if we can relocate our fire station, the location we're going to put, or do we want to move it further down and future proof a little bit? Um, Let's relocate it to a more useful location. I would like to relocate building. If we zoom out a bit, we can see that that's going to. Yep, so, okay, well, so, uh, worked quite well. Gave us what we wanted there. So let's have a look, look at our fire coverage. Yep, okay, that's a bit better. We should start seeing a bit more. Uh, having it all the way down here, I mean, it's fear of movement was really low, which wasn't really helping us at all because no one lives down here yet so what we'll do is probably put another one in further down so we rapidly see that our demand is uh, greatly reducing quite quickly let's just paint all this circle in but we're going to keep building we're going to keep building circles um, let's come off here Start our circle back there. Done. And then we want a pair of straight roads. One from there to there. Leave that as a cul de sac. We'll probably see what kind of circle we can get in the middle here. This circle tool is really handy for, you know, unsurprisingly, drawing circles. So these ones are quite close together. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. Yeah, let's make a nice interesting pattern of what we want more than anything else. So let's have, as usual, our little sections in here where we've got our little local shops. And then we'll grab our paint tool and wrap around on these guys and make them more a nice commercial, sorry, nice residential area. So, oh, the power guy is starting to complain. Does that mean we have... Yes, it does. We have another power problem. So that little wind turbine didn't really get us very far. Uh, we're still making money. Our population is still increasing gently. So there's another 8 watts of power going in. How are we doing for water? Lots of water. So we're pretty good for that. Hey, the circles do really look quite nice um, when you start adding them in. So there's a pretty little picture like this. So let's grab our districts tool and paint some more districts. And let's extend... Dalmatian Heights, right, to include all our new areas we've just plugged in. We will need to go through in just a second, give these guys water. Power should flow by itself. You can quick, probably have a look in a bit at our other services. So just leave that area in there. Just tidy that up a little bit. Leave that original old square there as it is. So. Ah, we do have some industry popping in over on the beginnings of what will be donkey mines. Mines for donkeys. Why donkey mines? Because donkeys are hard-working animals. Right. Okay, shiny. So, we've got that zoned in, we've got that plugged in. Now let's put some water in so that these people aren't going to endlessly complain. There's the standard. 440 and across. Let's just plug it in over here. Uh, we've got the money, yeah, down to 10,000 or so, but I think we've been able to make a good start on giving our city the boost of the expansion it needs. So let's start thinking about services. We've expanded quite a bit. Happiness. Okay, well, that's generally pretty good. 
education. So our capacity for our elementary schools is absolutely fine. The location is pretty good. We could possibly think about moving this one down over here, and that would give us a nice bridging gap. So let's shunt that one onto the edge. They'll all go, I'm unhappy, I'm happy again, because it would quickly recalculate. So that gives us a nice power bridge over here. Let's just double check that. Yeah, so got the axis we want. Levels. Okay, so you can see bits and pieces at a higher higher level. So, all right, that commercial building is uh, doing quite well. It's probably a combination of the location and the rest of it. So these dinging noises are slowly but surely all the buildings leveling up. Wind speed, pollution, yep, those are strange over here. Traffic. Okay, it's beginning to build up a little bit over there, so I need to make a note to have a look at that. Noise. No, it's about what we want. These are the starting areas, so the fact that we've got these little noisy patches of commercial around isn't something I'm going to worry too much about. Fire coverage we looked at, crime is good, no public transport. Population density, well, yeah, they're mostly living in the... Ah, employment. 17 births a week, no deaths. No one's dying yet, so we'll take that as a happy thing. Alright, so I'm not the purple one, you young adults. Ah, mostly adults. Alright, so it's people basically growing up. Outside connections, so you can see all these guys are connecting in and out. All products, export, yeah, tourism, a couple parks we put in. Land value, well, that's looking nice. So the Dalmatian Park, Dalmatian Heights looking really good with this. Resources, well, we've got a bit of trees around here, but a nice bit of mines. Districts, leisure, not too much yet. So that might be something we can possibly look at, as while we wait for our cash supplies to tick up a little bit and our city to grow. It's probably worthwhile letting these guys fill in a little bit. Ooh, what's this? Not enough educated workers. Okay, so is our... Education, education, education. Is our high school full? No, our high school is not full. So this is simply a case of time. Uh, we started off with a city full of young people who are producing young, stupid people. There's a fire! Yay! Go, little fire crew, go! The single engines come out. I see the fire air station was just on the other side of the road here, so they probably had to come out a little bit further, so... It's on fire! And they're putting it out. You can hear the siren, which are really quite loud. What is this that's burning? It's a convenience store! <laughs> this building is on fire! But apparently, it is still operating normally. There we go. Let's look at this, uh... quite tall building over here we have popped up. It's a drugstore. It's quite a big drugstore. But, uh, it's nearly leveled up again. So, we're clocking back up to well over $2,000 a tick now, so getting healthy. And well, our power problems are back again. Uh, I am going to just keep insisting on this, because um, we don't have the money for any other kind of solution. So, 8 megawatts. Electricity consumption is 48. Okay, not enough money. Alright, so we have a partial problem here. We could have a bit of a thing whereby, because there's no power, everybody leaves. And then we'll never have enough money to get enough power. So it's time to go and look about whether or not we can afford another loan. Um, we're earning two and a bit now. We can definitely uh, afford uh, another 400 thou of... Uh, expenditure, $403.85. So we will take that loan and we will spend it almost entirely on a little bit of future proofing in that we will dump it on once, twice, three times a power consumption. Now, what we are doing, unfortunately, at the moment is completely overrunning our really nice beachfront property now. This probably might end up being an uh, almost an industrial shore, but I don't quite know how far down this way we're going to go with our first industrial area. But I suspect we might want to try and put some kind of commercial leisure facilities on here. So at some point, all these guys will be moving. <laughs> but for now, they're going to have to lurk where they're lurking. Ah, I wonder if I can save myself a little bit of money if I trim that power line off just by a little bit. So now it's plugged in and connected to the network, so I should be able to get rid of those, which will save me just a little bit, just a little bit of money. How's our landfill doing? 13% full. Alright, not too much of a problem here. Ooh, that was the thing. We were going to look at um, parks and how we could potentially make our people just a little bit happier in terms of their living space. 
so we've got all these areas down the bottom here. Let's, um, what have we got? What's a really, ooh, bang. An enormous great big park in the center of Dimension Heights. See, it's already that's drastically improved a lot of the mood of the people around here. Let's see if we can just add in a little plaza with trees over here. Good. Right, that's worked really quite well. It's a lovely great big park there. Now what I might do is fish around in the other tabs down here and add in a couple of gravel paths connecting our park with the other districts. So that you can much more easily walk across and people the locals can use it as a place that they can get between places. So in fact just uh switch to the special roads tool. I love the fact that you they've um designed this plaza so that you can Oh, I've gone into a uh collapsed sine wave there. It's all gone horribly, horribly wrong with the oscillation. So take it back a little bit and see if we can't go straight to there. Yep. Yeah. So the, uh, this plaza is quite well designed so that all the edges you can just uh, quite quickly walk across. You can see, already see people are using this as a lovely shortcut for getting back and forth and across town. So I am going to quickly do the same here to give us a shortcut to go to the school and I will probably... Do the same here. Alright, I unfortunately probably scrubbed some buildings when I was doing my little runaway with the uh, getting the slot in. So let's get this lot painted back in again. Cool. Looking good. Alright, so our city is growing. We are getting ever closer to this. Then this magic number is getting larger and larger and larger. Absolutely no commercial demand, but our residential demand is slowly but surely ticking up. The other thing I wanted to look at before we uh, finish this episode off is the traffic we were having on this section down here. So let's go and have a look at our traffic. So you can see this center line of traffic is getting busier and busier and busier. People aren't tending to be wandering over this way too much. It's another fire! And this is a reasonable route, but what I want to think about doing is looking at expanding or improving the quality of this road. So... Let's take that off. Do we have anything on this line that's going to cause the problem with the upgrading? All right, where did we put our fire station? It's there. Okay. So I am briefly going to take my fire station. And I am going to stick her back down here for a few seconds. All right? Because I want to push the upgrade button, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have an experimentation in road upgrading. We are going to increase the value of this, the width of this road in the vain hope that it's going to allow us to improve our traffic problems. So, let's click the upgrade tool. And send this into a two-lane road all the way down there. So that's completely rezoned all of our uh, commercial, which we had down the center of the city. So we'll have to restrip in that there and then. Yep, I know, we've got a really awkward uh, congested junction here. So far, oh, hear the rumbling of the trucks. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so our industrial area is really beginning to fill out, and we're only less than 100 away from getting what we want. So that will happen in the next episode. So I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, next time. Thank you very much for watching.